What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Mike and I are out in Palm Desert, California today. Uh, we just drove out here, it's a couple hours away from San Diego, and uh, we're out here with some buddies, and we had a really awesome course. I've only played out here once, back in high school. It's the Weston Mission Hills Gary Player course. What do you know about it? Yeah, it's a great course, really good greens. are running at about a 12. Uh, it's about a 131 rating, and uh, I think I want uh, like a 73.5 uh, slope. So it's gonna be a good challenge. Course is uh, in really good shape right now, and it's gonna be uh, a fun day out on the course. And the conditions today are, uh, it's, it was just raining out here, so the, the greens might be pretty soft, but uh, there's some wind out here, and it's kind of cold, so the ball's not gonna go as far as it usually goes out here, but we're still gonna have an awesome time. And uh, let her, let's introduce you guys to who we're playing with right now. All right, so we got three gentlemen here. You've seen all these guys on the channel before. We're gonna play as a five sum today. We got approval from the pro shop. Aaron, what's going on, buddy? How's it going, guys? Good to be back, YouTubers. <laughs> Marky Mark. I'm just here to talk smack to Mikey. <laughs> no, I'm not as pretty as Paris, guys, so take it easy in the comments. <laughs> and T-Bone, what's going on, dude? We're back, man. I'm gonna keep the trash talk a little to the minimum today. The last time I called you out, it uh, didn't work out so well. So. <laughs> All right, guys, let's, yeah. ha let's have some fun out there and uh, play well. And today I'm gonna be playing the Epic Flash. Uh, Mark brought one down for me. Uh, it's a 10 and a half. Uh, we did a little minus one, and uh, I put my old shaft in there that Fujikura fit me for and I've been hitting it uh, deep on the range. We'll see if uh, we can pull it off on the golf course and uh, hit it down long and straight. What's up with those shades? Are you gonna wear those or just you just yeah, styling them? Yeah, we got some uh, shades uh, in, the, in the store now. Uh, Spy uh, hooked us up, so check them out. There's some really good ones, and uh, yeah, they're uh, styling and profiling. <laughs> <laughs> So since we're playing a fivesome today, we're gonna do uh, a skins game, and uh, best luck to these boys. Good luck, guys. They look ready. <laughs> All right, guys, first hole here, 442 yard, par four. Uh, just pretty much straight ahead. You can see it's turning a little bit to the right as we get up there. Uh, man, these fairways just look absolutely awesome. Nice and green and plush. Um, yeah, it looks pretty straight ahead, and we'll see what we got going on up there. those mountains right there. Snow on top of it and it's nice and sunny down here. I'm gonna do a little what's in the bag for Kocho because he's got these uh, Fujikura shafts in here still. The X forged irons. These things are, these things look awesome and they even stamped our logo in here. They engraved it, looks sweet. Yeah, St uh, X Flex Pro 95. These are awesome. I got uh, 146 in, hit that a little high. So we're gonna try to get a little baby nine iron in there. Started that at the flag, but it's swooping over pretty good. It's headed for the left side of the green. He's gonna be right next to me. We're gonna have about a 40 foot putt off. Let's do this. All right, so this is the second hole that Mike has the longest ball off the tee, and he missed the fairway, so. That epic uh, flash seems to be working pretty well, and he hit a fade off the tee, I mean. <laughs> yeah, all that technology that they put in, the AI, um, it's just, it's really amazing. It comes off the face just so much hotter. I think my ball speed's up there quite a bit. Uh, I've got 128, uh, pins a little bit on the right side. I'm gonna go ahead and try and attack this one. Oh, this looks good. He started right at it, and it's staying right there. Yeah, really nice shot. Maybe a little bit deep, but he's gonna have a putt for bird. All right, guys, Tyler came over here to check out the local Palm Springs. Check out the houses out here. Real estate. Really nice, actually. It's got about 155 in. 
little snappy out of there, but see where it's at? Actually, I kind of lost it. All right, Aaron's a little bit over the green. He's in the grassy knoll right here. Uh, he's in that dormant grass. Okay, really good effort right there. Greens are pretty fast, that's running out. He's got about 11, 12 feet left. And then tie, oh, let's see. All right, looks like uh, I hit a pretty good one in there. I got about 15, 16 feet just to the right. And uh, Mark and Marco are over there on the uh, fringe. And Tyler is just off into the dormant grass too, past the fringe. He's got a little downhiller, it's gonna be kind of slick. Oh, what a putt. Well Good job. Is that a par? It is. That's well done. Par. Way to save the skin. All right. Good par. Oh. Good putt, though. All right. All right, no blood there. What kind of putter you got there, Mark? I got the biggest putter you could pretty much get, the even roll. Um, this is the key, boys, the stability shot. Laugh at it now, but everybody's gonna be playing these things in the future, you watch. All right, we're on hole number three. It's a par five, it's 528 yards. Uh, there's a little bit of force carry. It's about 200 yards to carry the, uh, the lake. Uh, it's a very tight fairway. Uh, there's not a lot of room left or right. Uh, good drive here, though, is rewarded. You can definitely get there in two, um, and we're gonna see if we can do that today. Good swing. Way right. Chow drove us all again. Tyler, who usually hits it pretty far, is about 10 yards, maybe six yards behind coach. And I'm a good, I'm a good 10, 12 yards behind him. And uh, I need one of those epic drivers. Epic flash. Callaway, send me one now. All right guys, I got like 300 yards. We go off the deck. <laughs> he killed it. Oh man. Tyler just hit a six iron. Nice little layup. Good ball. All right, hit a decent drive up here on the right. Got 270 left still. I'm gonna just hit a three wood up there and uh, try to get up and down from Bird. Marco pulled this a little bit to the right, right at that tree. Should be uh, right side rough. All right, hit a pretty good drive right there. I got 260 left. Uh, I'm just gonna hit my three wood and try and mess up the left side pins on the right and. Uh, Try and get up and down. He hit this thing straight at the pin, but it's fading away. A little bit ahead of for that bunker on the right. And I can't really tell if it made it there, but it's where it was headed. This is going right at the pin, looking pretty good. Gotta go, go. go. All right, he's on, I think. All right, push that three wood a little bit. Still got 57 yards left. I'm gonna take the 60 degree wedge and uh, take a little bit off of it. Pretty much go right at it. I don't see anything. Uh, just want to make sure I get it over that bunker. That's number one priority. Push that a little bit left of the pin. Distance control in A+. Plus. He's going to have a birdie putt right there. Good job. Mark with a nippy little wedge. I uh, just took, hey. it, took it right past the pin and it just checked up. This looks awesome. Nice well done. Coach? Okay, flared that uh, three wood just a little bit. I've got 45 yards left. Uh, I'm just gonna hit a little chippy 60, miss left of the pin, and uh, give myself a chance at uh, a four. 
Oh, he caught that nice and thinny to perfection. Had some spin on it. Uh, he's going to have about a 10-footer, but really good lead, really smart play. You guys can see he went left with this pin. He didn't take it right at it. He said, you know what, just give me a chance at bird, and that's what he did. Mark, did you just hit the pin right there? Yeah, well, you know, Mikey talks a lot of smack to me about my wedge game being a little lackluster, so I decided to throw a little one-inch shot on him. My putting's a little suspect, but I think I can make this one. So, <laughs> birdie's in the bank, boys. Well done. All right, so Aaron's down here in the little, little valley. Pretty touchy little shot. All right, hit that pretty good. Just kind of rolled out on him. He's gonna give Mike a nice read there. I'm sure he's thankful for that. All right, we got Tyler in the front fringe right there. Um, me and Aaron are close. We got about uh, eight to 10 feet left. And then the big cat, he's got about a 25 footer uh, right past us. Okay, he's got about six, seven feet left. Okay, good par. Is that a bird? No, it's a par. All right, good par. Mark, did you get some skins there? Yes. That was worth a couple. Yeah, just good well to put one up on this boy right here. <laughs> Always getting on me, but it's all love, man. Love yeah, this guy. Yeah, that was a pretty good wet shot right there. Good birdie by this guy. A couple of skins for him, and uh, he redeemed himself a little bit. <laughs> All right, par four here, 445 yards, but the tee boxes are up a little bit, so I think it's playing less than uh, than what it says. You can see the fairway there. Uh, looks like it tightens up a little bit, but nothing too crazy. There's really not a lot of fairway bunkers that are in play out here, so I'll probably hit one after I just said that. But uh, it looks like uh, the green has a pretty pretty big false front on the left side, but the pin is on the right, so should be able to get aggressive here and uh, see if we can make a bird. Guys, so I didn't use my legs on that drive, just pushed it over here to the left, uh, right behind this tree, so I'm jailed a little bit. I'm gonna hit a five iron, try to keep it under this, go a little bit right of the green, and then if it cuts, you know, to get somewhere around the green, that's fine. I'm gonna just try to get up and down, but priority number one is just stand down on this, and the way you guys hit, play these punch shots is you just move it about an inch, inch and a half back in your stance, and you just make sure that your hands stay forward, and you don't take a full, complete swing. You basically take a three-quarter, and you kind of finish like a little halfsy swing. So it's all about staying down on it and making that good impact. And that's how you get that low ball flight. Oh, he did. Hit it perfect. Should be good. Landed right in front, rolling on. It might have ran through, but should be okay. Really good shot though. All right, we're four holes in, and uh, this is the first one that Mike got outdriven by Mark, who notoriously bombs the ball. What do you got left here, coach? I got 120. I'm gonna go right at it with an approach wedge and uh, try and make another bird. Started this right side of the green, and it's turning over a little bit. I think he's, I think he's going to be just on the fringe on the right, but not bad. He should still have a chance at a birdie from there. All right, guys, I got one ten in. Uh, going to go with a nice little sandwich. Touch left, middle of the green. Good shot. Nice beaver. <laughs> Definitely yank that. All right, we got Mark on the green, hit another good wedge shot. I think I'm just past the pin on the fringe right there. Um, not bad, good distance control. I think the big cat is just in that little valley. There he is. And I think Tyler is, or actually Aaron is right there. He's got a tough little chip shot coming up the hill. He's probably got about 45 yards roughly. Yeah, really well done. That was a tough shot. 
It's got about five feet below the pin. And we got Tyler. He was on the cart path over there, took relief. It's got a tough little downhiller with not a lot of green to work with. Oh, he good hit shot. this one really good. Good shot. Oh yeah, A good plus. Shot. Nice shot, Tyler. Yeah, well done. Marco's got a tough little chip right here. It's got landed in the fringe. Oh, okay. It's got an uphiller, smart play. All right, first part three of the day. This one's absolutely beautiful. Going a little bit downhill, 160 yards. Pins right in the right in the middle, which is uh, which is ideal, obviously. So not you know not too much trouble around it, other than those bunkers. But with that pin placement, we should be able to get aggressive here. And uh, we got the sun coming out right now, so this is just turning out to be a beautiful, beautiful day. And we got a little uh, little river running through here. We started that at the right side of the green, but it's drawn back a little bit. It'll be over on the right. What'd you hit? Tyler hit this thing straight up in the air, just a little bit left of the flag stick. And a little bit deep. But it's on the green, coming back. Coach hit that crazy high. Uh, drawn right back, it looks really good. Headed at it. A little bit right. It's gonna have about a 10, 12 footer. Really nice shot. Marco pulled this a little bit to the right. Should be okay. Yeah, he's on the front part, left side of the green right there. All right, so we got Aaron right down there at the bottom of that bull. Uh, I'm down here just a little bit short on the, on the dance floor, but I got about a 15, 17 footer up the hill. Mike was pin high, really good distance control. He's got maybe like a 10, 10 12 footer. Tyler was on the back of the green over here, coming, coming down maybe a 15 footer or so. Mark was just over there past Coach's ball on the fringe. And uh, yeah, he's gonna have about a 35 footer. Oh, look at that touch. Well done, Aaron. Nice par. No skins on that one? No, no skins. Someone's gonna get rich soon. <laughs> All right, we are in hole number six. Uh, it's a par four, it's 381 yards. And it uh, looks like it's a pretty big fairway. A uh, little bit of uh, out of bounds on the left, but I don't think it really comes into play for us on this. Uh, it's a short par four, uh, and I think we're just gonna take driver here and uh, bomb away. Nice. Oh, oh, that was great, dude. Oh. That's gotta be down. Every time. Man, this epic flash driver is just so money right now. I've hit everything down the middle, pure, uh, with this Fuji shaft. Just a great combo for me. Take this thing away from him, man. He's playing too good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, got 143 left. Hit a good drive there. And uh, I'm gonna just go with the nine iron, go out the middle of this green, and just let it fade over. Pin's kind of tucked on the left-hand side, so I don't want to take it right at it. Marco started this at the pin, fading just a little bit to the left. It's got to hang on. Yeah, I came up a little shy. I think there's some wind up there. Already got 122 left. 
I'm gonna hit my 52. Time to make a move here. Yeah, that's a beautiful swing. Good looking shot, man. About pin high, just right of it. Shot, Tyler. Coach hit another long drive here in the fairway. What do you got? Yeah, left side fairway, uh, five for five with that new uh, new Epic. Uh, I've got 118, that's a little bit into the wind. Uh, I'm gonna just hit a hard approach wedge. All right, changed my mind. Uh, the wind is picking up a little bit, so it's probably playing like 27, 28. I'm just gonna hit a little uh, pitching wedge, knock down. Started that middle of the green. It's drawn, trying to draw back a little bit. It's kind of hanging there. This looks really good. I think he found the top tier and should be pin high. Really good shot. All right, guys, a happy Gilmore shot. I got 100 yards left, so it wasn't bad, about 280. Got to, you know, clean up my wedge here a little bit with my new Golf Holix towel. Make sure you guys get it at the shop. Good shot. Yep. Middle of the green. All right, we got four or three balls on. I'm just on the fringe right there on the right. Uh, Aaron just came up with this third right there, putting for par, and then Mark's right there and uh, Tyler spun his back with some tour sauce and uh, Marco is in that uh, left side bunker. Oh, he hit this one really well with some spin. All right, really well done. He's probably got about 12 feet left just on the fringe. That's enough. Great putt. Good, putt. Good job. Mark. What a par. Nice job. Good job. Oh. All right, guys, we're going to end part one right there. Coach is playing awesome out here. You like it in desert golf, aren't you? Yeah, those new graphite irons are uh, really paying dividends. I'm throwing it up a lot higher. My distance control is finally there. This is my second round with them and uh, starting to fill them out a little bit. And uh, that, that new driver from uh, Callaway is awesome too. Uh, I'm pumping it down the middle on every, uh, every drive. If you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys are thinking about these videos. Give us feedback. All that fun stuff and lastly check out the store we got these hats in there towels divot tools all kinds of fun stuff and uh, all that money goes right towards the channel all right guys we'll see you back for part two later